In the last lecture, we connected our database to our Node.js application using Mongoose. Mongoose is an object data modeling library for MongoDB and Node.js, providing a higher level of abstraction. An object data modeling library is just a way for us to write JavaScript code that will then interact with database. Now, we can also use regular MongoDB driver to access our database from our Node.js application, and it will just work fine. But instead, we are using Mongoose because it gives us a lot more functionality than a regular MongoDB driver, allowing for faster and simpler development of our application. Some of the features Mongoose gives us is schema to model our data and relationships, easy data validation, a simple query API, middleware, and much more. In Mongoose, a schema is where we model our data. Basically, using schema, we describe the structure of our data, default values, and validations. We then take this schema and create a model out of it. A model is basically a wrapper around the schema, which allows us to actually interface with the database in order to perform CRUD operation. So let's go ahead and let's create a simple schema and model out of it. Let's go to VS Code. And here, after we have connected to our database, let's go ahead and let's create a simple schema. And based on that schema, we are going to create our model. So Mongoose is all about models and a model in Node.js is like a blueprint that we use to create a document. You can think of a model like a class in JavaScript, which we use as a blueprint for creating objects out of them. In the same way, we create a model in Mongoose in order to create documents out of them and also to query, update and delete these documents. And in order to create a model, we actually need a schema. We create a model out of Mongoose schema. And we use a schema to describe our data, set default values, validate the data and all kind of other stuffs. Now to create a schema, let's first go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it maybe movie schema. Okay, now to create a schema, first we use new keyword and then on this mongoose variable, we have the schema method. Now to this schema, we need to pass an object literal and in there we can define the properties which we want to have for our model so for the movie object we want to have a name property and here we can specify the data type for it it is going to be string then we also want to have a description property this is also going to be of type string we want to have let's say duration property this is going to be of type number because we are going to specify the duration in minutes. Then we are also going to have a ratings property and this is also going to be a number type. Basically, this ratings is going to be of type double. But since in JavaScript, we have only one data type for doubles and integers, that is number. That's why we are specifying the data type as number here. But in the MongoDB, it will be saved as double. Okay. So, this is the most basic way of describing the data. This is very simple schema which we have created here. And here we are only specifying the data type of each field. Now we can also pass an optional second argument to this schema by using this comma and then specifying the second argument. But that is optional. So here I am leaving the second argument and we will talk about it in the future lecture where we will actually need it. Alright, so here we have created a simple schema. Now, based on this schema, we can create a model. And to create a model, what we need to do is, again, let's go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it movie. And to create a model out of this schema, this movie schema, on this mongoose variable, we are going to have a model. And to that, we need to specify two arguments. The first argument is the name of the model. So here I'm going to call this model movie. And then the second argument is the schema based on which we want to create this model. Here we want to create this movie model based on this movie schema. All right. So here we have created a movie model and using this model, we can create documents in our database. We can query those documents, update those documents, delete those documents, etc. using this model. And in the database, with this name, a collection will be created. So here we are calling it movie, but the collection name will be in plural. So the collection name will be movies. And in that movies collection, all the document which we are going to create using this movie model, that will be stored. 
and we will create new documents using this model in our next lecture. Now, we created a schema and based on that schema, we created a model. But we can take this schema definition one step further and we can define something called as schema type options for each of these fields or some of these fields. And using schema type options, we can define what should be the type of the field, whether the field is required or not, whether the field is of unique type, what should be the default value and all those stuffs. Let me actually show you that. So what I want is, I want this name field to be a required field. If a user don't provide a value for this name field, in that case, that particular document should not be inserted in the database. How can we do that? For that, what we need to do is, instead of specifying the data type here, now we need to use this object literal and in there we can specify the data type using the type property so here we want this data type to be string all right then we also want this name field to be required field for that we can use this required property and we can set it to true okay let's do the same thing for duration i want this duration field to be a required field so here i will use this object literal syntax in there, let me first go ahead and specify the data type. For that, I can use this type property and there I can set the type as number. And then let me also go ahead and let me use this required field and there let's set it to true. Okay. So now in this movie model, this name field and this duration field is required field. And for the required fields, we can even specify the validation message. For that, we need to put this true within square brackets. So it is going to be an array. Okay, so now to this required field, we are assigning an array value. And there, we can specify the validation error message. So let's say name is required field. So if a user does not specify the value for this name field, in that case, he is going to get this validation error message. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for duration. So when we want to specify the validation message, in that case, to this required field, we need to assign an array. In that array, the first element will be a Boolean value, true or false. If it is true, in that case, that field will be marked as a required field. And then the second element is a string value. And here we can specify the validation error message. So here, let's say duration is required field. Okay. So this required here, it is something called as validator because it is used to validate our data. In this case, it will simply validate whether the name field and the duration field has some value or not. And there are also a lot of other validators in Mongoose and we can also create our own custom validators. And we will of course learn about that as well a bit later in this course. Now, it is also possible to set some default value for our fields. For example, for this rating field, I want to set some default value. So if a user does not provide a value for this rating field, I want to use that default value. For that again, first we need to use a set of curly braces, the object literal. There, let's first specify the type. So here, the type for this rating field is going to be number. And then let me go ahead and let me set the default value. For that, we can use this default field. And let's say the default rating for each movie should be maybe 1.0. Okay, the default rating should be 1. So if no value is provided for this ratings field, in that case, this default value 1 will be used. Otherwise, if there is some value provided for this ratings field, in that case, that value will be used. And we can also set a field as unique. For example, let's say in our movies collection, each movie should have a unique name. No two movies should have the same name. For that, what we can do is, for this name field, we can set another property and that property is unique and we can set it to true. This will make sure that we do not have two movie documents with the same name in the database in the movies collection. Okay, so this is how we define a schema using Mongoose. Okay, and based on that schema, we create our model. In the next lecture, we are going to use this movie model to create our very first movie document. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.